Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, and next, uh, at number 10 on our top 100 most anticipated international features of 2021, we have Benedetta, the latest from the uh, iconic Dutch auteur Paul Verhoeven, uh, who everybody will most likely be familiar with uh, due to his ex an extensive career uh, that went through uh, a number of Hollywood uh, hits and failures of the 80s and 1990s. Uh, his latest reunites him with uh, the screenwriter and producer of his 2016 hit Elle, uh, which of course starred Isabelle Huppert, who won a Golden Globe, a Gotham Award, and uh, scored an Academy Award nomination for her performance. Uh, so David Burke and Saeed Ben Saeed are back on Benedetta, which is based on a, a book by Judith C. Brown, A Modest Axe. Uh, it depicts the story of a 17th century nun uh, who suffers from disturbing visions and um, erotic dreams and fantasies and as uh, she's assisted through her ordeal by um, another comely young woman they develop a romantic affair. Um, sounds very much like the sexual scandalous material that Verhoeven has long been attracted to uh, and I can't wait personally. Uh, the lead of his film is Virginia Fira, uh, who was most recently seen in uh, Anne Fontaine's Night Shift, uh, but of course had a supporting role in Elle. Uh, she's joined by Charlotte Rampling, uh, Lambert Wilson, and Daphne Patika. Uh, it was lensed by Jean Lepoire, who of course shot Eight Women for Francois Zon. Um, so it's a project that has had some significant delay. Uh, a, a hip injury after production had started uh, with Verhoeven delayed uh, completion of the film, and then of course the pandemic. Uh, it is very much ready to go. Uh, Saeed Ben Saeed had announced a, um, around the time Can 2020 would have happened, they announced a 2020, 2021 theatrical release for Benedetta. So if the world resumes a, a sense of normalcy, it's most likely that Verhoeven would compete a third time for his, a Palme d'Or. Um, He's competed twice before Cannes in 1992 with Basic Instinct, and then of course in 2016 with L. Um, in Locarno, he's uh, appeared a couple times, back in 1964 with Feast, uh, and then in 2000, Hollow Man had a screening there. Um, he's competed once in Venice with uh, Black Book in 2006. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.